Hello YouTube, it is the 16th of October and uh, it's not a bad morning, um, starting to feel autumn in the air now and I'm just going to do one of my um, last reveals which is the uh, Sarpo Mira, um, this is a main crop, I have had one bucket and uh, this one's been storing under cover, you can see it's quite dry now um, but I just said I'd show, give you a reveal and uh, we can see what's inside this. This was sown or planted up on the 7th of April. And I can see already there's, uh, you can see how dry this is. It has been under cover for quite a while. But um, this was the uh, same sort of yield, bit of, bit of scab there looks like the same sort of yield that I had off the uh, first bucket. Um, you can see there where they've been wedged up against each other or the side of the bucket. Um, we've uh, we've tried these all ways. We've roasted them, jackets and boiled them. Some people say they're not over keen on the on the um, Sarpa Mira, bit of a split in that one, and there is a little bit of scab on them. And there was on the other bucket that I, I tipped out as well. But uh, the, they've grown ve very well for me in buckets. I've never grown them before, and as you can see, the yield is just wow! Look at that. The yield is absolutely fantastic. See the weight of that. It's tipping the wheelbarrow up. There's no. Uh, that's about the extent of the small ones. Everything has grown. Um, a couple more small ones here. But uh, that's very pleasing. When you get a yield like that, um, these are 30 litre buckets, and you can see that's flat where it's been wedged up against another potato or the side of the, the bucket, but they have got scab. Um, none of my other varieties of potato, well I say none of them, I've got uh, some potatoes there to just show you that I took out earlier. That could. That might be about it, I think. A little tiny one. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I will go through this just for any smaller ones after. But I uh, hope you can see that there. That is a huge potato there. Um, I will weigh these and put the weight up on the end of the video. But that is, uh, that's awesome. And uh, we found the flavor are very good. Um, they're, they're a fluffy potato. Uh, we haven't done them with chips, um, but as a roast potato, and a mashed potato and a baked potato. Uh, we found them very good. So these will definitely be on the menu next year. And I just can't get over the, that. That's more than what I had out of the first pot. Um, yeah, it's funny how the smaller ones are a darker color uh, and the bigger they get, the lighter pinkishness that comes on them. Uh, I did grow some blue Danube and that was the harvest out of two 30 litre buckets. Uh, they are a second early I believe and I treated them as so and um, they've all got scab 
and some of them have got quite a lot of scab on them. Um, that is, uh, I don't know if you can see that on there, but that is quite thick with scab. And if I remember right, the seed potatoes that came did have a little bit of scab on them. I know it's only cosmetic, um, but it would be nicer to grow them without. Um, but that's the yield off two 30 litre buckets. So uh, when you look at that off two buckets and that off one bucket, um, they've all had the same fertiliser put in them. Uh, you can see that uh, they won't be on the menu next year. Why they're not a brilliant yield, I've got no idea. They were treated exactly the same as all my other potatoes. So that's the harvest for me, Sarpamira. Excellent crop, very pleased with that. And I will just weigh what there is and uh, I will put that on the end of the video. So hope you're all keeping well. Many thanks for watching and all your support. Um, and uh, take care everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. So just before I weigh these uh, Sarpo Mira, I'm just forgetting my manners. And I would like to say uh, a big thank you to uh, Nick's Allotment Diary for my prize for winning the Sunflower Challenge. Uh, I'm very grateful uh, to Nick. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, it's very nice to be rubbing shoulders with the uh, three other winners, which were Nigel from Muddy Boots and Chris from ACS and also to Jane from the Romantic Garden. Uh, so many thanks Nick, um, I appreciate that you put a lot of work into um, the Sunflower Challenge and uh, I would just like to say thank you very much and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to take part and it's brought a lot of people from all over the world together and uh, it is really is appreciated. So thank you very much Nick um, and I shall just get on and weigh these potatoes now. I'm going to do this one handed, so please bear with me. Excuse the mess as well. I just turn these scales on. There's zero there. I'll do it in pounds first and then convert it over for you. There's no tear on this, so I would say probably be about a pound the basket and the hook. Wow, and that is that says 21 pounds four ounces. And if I just No, it doesn't seem to want to. Ah, oh, there we are. 9.93 9 pounds, 9 kilos. Well, I'm old school, so I will. That's Chinese. 21 pounds, 14 ounces. So if I say that's just over 20 pounds. Um, getting on for 21 pound if you take off the weight of the basket. That is just awesome. And that is out of a 30 litre bucket. Many thanks for watching. Take care everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye bye.